Yo, what is YouTube? It is your boy Riley from the Just Riley channel. Welcome back to a brand new episode and finally live commentary and reactions to week four when we take on the Pittsburgh Steelers here with the Houston Texans franchise. It seems like every time I go and try and pick up the mic I rap about the things that don't really affect me in life Like how I'm great at articulating my bars that are right Or how the fame will never change a single thought in my mind I rap about how I'm better than any rapper in sight I rap about how I would kill him on a- Again, I am Just Riley. If you guys are new to the channel, please drop a like, subscribe, and uh, turn on post notifications so you guys never miss a video in the series. Um, hopefully this is ongoing for a while. Uh, the league will be around for a while. It's just a matter of content. But before we look into anything else as well, let's go look at some stats. CJ Stroud is currently third in the NFL with 943 passing yards after week three. And this is before any other games are played, so we are up there right now. Um, CJ Stroud, 57 for 76. He leads the league in completion percentage at 75. Damian Pierce on 37 carries, 191 yards. We definitely need to get more into the run game. Um, it's definitely not going to be this week, I don't think. Um, taking on that Pittsburgh Steelers D-line is definitely going to be a tough task. Uh, Ty Montgomery, 10 for 46. CJ Stroud, 4 for 42. Definitely need to use his legs more, even with the two fumbles. Definitely need to look into that. But our leading receiver is going to be John Mechie. Tank Dell at 2. We got Dalton Schultz at three. Ty Montgomery, the running back out of Stanford, is going to be number four. And then Jarvis Landry, Damian Pierce, and the rest are just, you know, here and there. Here and there catchers. And on our team leading the interceptions, we got Desmond King, Jalen Petrie, Landon Collins, Jimmy Ward, Shaq Griffin, Derek Stingley, and Steven Nelson. Those guys are all leading our team. Uh, Christian Harris should have multiple interceptions, but he just doesn't make it happen. But he is, I believe, leading our team in tackles. He sure is. Fairbairn's had an amazing season. I mean, yeah, he's only shot from 29 yards or less, but 4 for 4, we'll take that. That means we're scoring. All right, we're going to go ahead and look at the QB1 check-in. Evaluate your start, the start to your quarterback season. Coach, your team has played really well in the early part of the season and is off to a hot start. How much is that, of that is because of CJ Stroud? Well, I can't talk. I just got new aligners in, guys, so if you guys hear me lisping as well, sorry about that. But we're going to preach team mentality. This rookie is not the only reason we're winning, man. Tank Dell, Jarvis Landry with his big catches, Dalton Schultz even with the blocks on the right side. His contribution cannot be understated, but he also doesn't play defense. And the rest of it doesn't even need to be said because that is true. Okay, so... We got Will Anderson, CJ Stroud, Tank Dell, Christian Harris. We're not going to use Juice. Um, I'm against that heavily. Oh, did not mean to do drills. I meant to switch player, which is new to me. So it's X. And we're going to go to halfback. We're going to go Keaton Mitchell, the 21-year-old. And then Brandon Hill, actually, I don't mind. So we'll use Brandon Hill for right now. Develop him as much as possible. We'll start. Oh, actually, I'm not going to start training. I'm going to do these mini games. And then I'll get back with you guys after these mini games. Um, and we'll go over some more stuff. All right, y'all, we're back. Uh, I do have a big announcement. I forgot to clip it. I literally stopped in the middle of drills because of how much time in the recording there was, whatever, yada, yada. The man out of Pittsburgh, Brandon Hill, he is our captain on the defensive side, has gained star development through training and mini camp, whatever they call it. We got star dev. So now that brings a question. We're winning. We're winning games, right? Do we take Jimmy Ward and trade him? at all this is a big deal because that star dev that's that's a that's big that's big um the coverage obviously i'd like to be better before i do that so maybe not at the moment but at the deadline can we give jimmy ward away pretty cheap there's a good chance cornerback i really want cam dantzler to play more i did want to put him as one of my focus players but at the moment he it, it's so deep at corner um not by choice it's kind of like just there all these old heads that are pretty dang good. It's not easy to get rid of them. They've been playing good. Show you the record in the division is three and zero with me. The Colts just won their game, so they're now two and two instead of one and two. Um, the Titans one and two. The Jaguars are one and two, um, which is great. Texas, the roof is Welcome open, to we Houston, as we are going to be taking on Houston. the Pittsburgh Steelers. Four, Here is going to be a great game. Welcome to nrg stadium i am excited to play this game it's been a couple days since uh last sim we're now up to speed and now we got live commentary hope you guys are doing well kenny pickett dropping back and a big big stop by matt ionitis is going to help us out here as kenny pickett is not able to get the ball out 
to the right side. And that's on Stingley. Stingley should have been there to stop Calvin Austin, but he's not. And oh, Calvin's talking some shit. All right. There's Jalen Warren getting another catch there from Pickett. And a hurry up offense is going to come out. Cover three sky is going to be our audible here. In a Christian Harris interception, Calvin Austin, the intended receiver. Pickens will not catch up. First career interception to my knowledge, but at least in the DPG franchise for Christian Harris, the first year player out of Alabama, twerking on him for some odd reason. Don't even want to ask. We will see what guys are thinking as time goes, as Kenny Pickett will be stopped by, I guess, Will Anderson on that point. They're going with hurry-up offense again. And Deontay is not able to get away from Desmond King, and Kenny Pickett overthrows. And it is now third and ten. Pittsburgh having some issues at that quarterback position. I can already tell. Going to have Harris on Najee. Najee is going to come under. And that is going to be incomplete. Underthrown by Kenny Pickett. Najee Harris, the intended receiver. As there is going to be a punt formation now. For Brendan Mann. Brendan Mann, excuse me. Four wide. Pierce underneath. And there we go. Dalton Schultz getting close to a first. Third and one. Down the middle. This D-line is insane, though. I knew that was going to happen. It was worth a shot. I really do trust my defense enough to give that an opportunity. At least we know that Cam Hayward's doing well. We know our O-line's struggling still down the middle. It, we got to test some things in order to see if it'll work in some due time. Maybe at halftime, we uh, make some audibles to fix the run game if our pass game doesn't get going. And as you guys saw as well, Cameron Johnston is going to number 95. Um, not 95 is just the number that Ohio State kickers used to always use. And I feel like it fits Cam pretty well as a former Ohio State alum. So we gave him that number, and we gave number 11 to a wide receiver on our roster, which I, I may go over later. I don't know. Numbers aren't very important, in my opinion. As there's Desmond King with another interception on the season. Deontay Johnson is getting killed on these routes. And Kenny Pickett cannot stop the pass. Will we see a backup quarterback come in and Mitch Trubisky at some point in this game? That is two interceptions and one quarter for Kenny Pickett off. Friar is going to get the ball. Petrie's going to get the tackle out of bounds. There's going to be a flag. Hopefully a holding is offsides on us. That's okay. It happens. Make sure you guys are staying up to date on anything you need to get done. Blake Cashman not able to get there in time. But Washington getting knocked down by Desmond King. What an amazing hit. Just a bad coverage play on my end. I should have stayed out and I would have been okay with Cashman. But, yeah, again, I hope you guys are staying healthy during these times. Darnell Washington beats out Jimmy Ward for a touchdown pass. We were all over that, too. Just the better player, bigger player, not better player, got the catch there. Can't do nothing but respect it. Marcus Peters going for the block. He's not going to be able to get there. Kick is up. Extra point is good. Ball snapped. Bad play on my end. Bad play. Bad, bad play. I got saved. I got saved. As Jarvis Landry's open, he's going to be getting the catch. TJ Watt with the tackle. 3 for 4, 34 for CJ. Ball snapped. And there we go. Tank Dell is going to get open on the PA crosser for a first down. 32 yard line is where we're going to end up. Ball snapped. CJ Stroud dropping back. And that is going to be a big sack for number 56, Alex Highsmith. That is all on Laramie Tunsil giving up the first sack of his season. Very tough to see, but there's not much you can do in that situation. Ball snaps. And that's going to be Dalton Schultz getting the clutch catch. 
in clutch time. We needed that very much. Thank you, Dalton. Ty Ty Montgomery, second and five. Speaking of Ty, he's going to get outside for another touchdown on this season. Another MVP candidate is Ty Montgomery with the amount of touchdowns he has. Amazing, amazing play. Even Offensive Player of the Year, maybe not MVP. I should have fixed that. But what an amazing catch. And what an amazing run after catch for Ty Montgomery. Fairbairn kicks it up. It is good. 21-7 here in Houston. All over Deontay. Najee's got it, though. And he drops down. Smart play. And that's a big catch for Pickens, man. King should have been all over that, but it happens. Uh, we're going to have to play a better defense on this point. Jerry Hughes needs to get there. Matt Ioannidis is not able to. It is a touchdown run for Kenny Pickett. Having a tough passing game in the first quarter, he is bouncing back in the second with two touchdowns, one passing, one running. Good drive last time. Couldn't get the ball out. Cam Hayward's already back there. Alex Highsmith as well. Sack is made. Actually, that was Shaq Mason. Sorry, Titus. Ball snapped. Ty Montgomery is going to get another catch. He's going to break free. He's going to get down to about the 28. Third and five, gaining our yardage back season. He's been very helpful for this passing game and all around has just been great. Tank Dell, speaking of which, has also had a great season thus far as a rookie out of Houston. Captain on this offense already in his first season. Two receptions on the day, 35 yards. Back to safety. Mechie's there. Mechie holds on, and that is going to be caught for a first and down at the 35-yard line. Big game, big game. CJ dotting up to Mechie again in the slot, or in the seam, excuse me, not the slot. What a play. Snap. That's going to be Ty Montgomery again on JJ, or excuse me, TJ Watt. Put him on a zig. And there's Dalton Schultz. He's going to get that touchdown for the big tight end that has recently signed with us in the offseason. Dalton Schultz becoming a favorite here in Houston already. Already under some contract negotiations right now with Houston. He's had a good few games. They're talking about bringing him back long term. But his agent doesn't really know if Houston is the market for him. So he's been gambling on getting more money. Will Houston decide to keep him or will they move on and develop Brevin Jordan and or a tight end from the offseason? We will see in the coming days. But any signing that is made, you guys know that we will announce it just like today. Breaking news, Keaton Mitchell, the new signing off the practice squad, has improved so much with these coaches that he has signed a seven-year deal to stick around um yes that doesn't sound very realistic in a way but long term with how long this league's gonna go it's gonna be very nice having him for those seven years and how much i know we're gonna probably use him it's, i'm gonna really like it as darnell washington's been a big big threat so far literally big i believe he's six eight and he is tall griffin and griffin is getting into it with washington on the Steelers sideline Got Marcus Peters in. And that's an interception for the new trade piece, Marcus Peters. The Texans recently acquired him from the Oakland, or excuse me, Las Vegas Raiders for a fourth rounder. And look at this, making plays already in his debut at corner. Mechie going deep. Not going to get there. Time's going to expire. We attempted it. It's okay. 28-14 going into half, and I believe we get the ball too. If not, oh well. I believe we do. That's going to be Mechie down the middle. Going to get the catch here on offense. And Jarvis getting in on the fun with an out route. Jarvis again in on the fun. Snap it. Gonna go deep. He ain't got nothing on me. Minka ain't got nothing on me, and he does. 
He's got that lurker. It's all right. It happens. I thought I'd be able to get it over his head with CJ. I guess not. And it happens. That's the first interception of the day for uh, our quarterback, CJ Stroud. It should have been a touchdown, but it was underthrown. It was a good lob. Just, he, I mean, he had separation. Just superstar ability. You can't really stop it. Good tackle on Najee. Three rushes, four yards. We're stopping him today. Landon Collins is going to be down the middle. Again, we're going to put him in coverage. And we're going to get Christian Harris to deflect it. I don't and that's an interception almost for Jimmy Ward. He has three missed interceptions in this season so far. I'm keeping tallies right here on my side. Three missed interception attempts for Jimmy Ward so far in the season. And that's going to be a first and some. I got sticked on. Kenny Pickett sticked on me. That's kind of tough. That's why I stayed in coverage so long. Good stuff. And they're just going to push him in with Darnell. Fuck. Tank Dell is going to get a big catch. Pierre is going to get a big hit. There's Jarvis. Jarvis with a stiff arm down at the five. And that's going to be Andrew Beck with a touchdown grab. His second on the season. The fullback making his way into the end zone. With whatever that is. Deontay is going to be able to get a big game on Desmond King. Great play by that Pittsburgh offense. An interception for the user, Christian Harris, getting his second. And could it be his second pick six as well? It will. Christian Harris, two pick sixes. Defensive player of the week type week for him. The monster out of Alabama. gets an interception oh my goodness it's the INT party for this Houston offense or excuse me defense wow but the P Pittsburgh offense yes I think he could get through that's gonna be Mechie down the middle gonna get the catch and tackled by James Pierre again snap is made and that's gonna be an instant sack Keanu Neal getting his big play on the game there definitely much needed for pittsburgh they have three sacks we have none our defensive pressure is not really there but we're, we're trying we're trying to make it work andrew beck gets open andrew beck's taking it to the house for another touchdown the fullback the fullback takes it again for another touchdown and that was on a good ass route number 47 Proving to the team why he stayed. He's a tight end that can block at the fullback position. A little bit. We're going to put Desmond on the outside. Najee's going to be out. And Calvin's able to get it in. Great catch and great pass. And will it continue? Calvin Austin on the sweep. And that's going to be out of bounds. Oh, okay. I guess they're going to give him the touchdown. Touchdown, Calvin Austin. Number 19 there for Pittsburgh they're gonna go for two we're gonna go in and go into man coverage we're gonna get Blake Cashman up here on Najee and that's a big catch again for Calvin Jalen Petrie in coverage nothing much you can do having a good season and a good game will he be able to take this one we'll see JK Damian Pierce is gonna take it Damian Pierce is gonna get a big game 35 is where it's gonna end up 17 yards on that one 
Ball snapped. Big handoff. That's an interception. That was the wrong player. Well, dumb shit happens, and that's one of those things. Um, that's going to be a meme clip for sure. I lost my buttons, and I kind of lost control of what I was doing. So that's on me. Friar Muth's going to get it. Man, we got to hold this offense. This offense is running down our throats, man. I'm going to run a blitz. I haven't ran a blitz yet. Maybe it confuses him. Good tack on Jalen Warren. And that's Pickens in the end zone. Coverage was, uh, well, Landon Collins. Not much you can do with this hurry up offense, for real. It's hard to keep up on. Uh, I'm not upset that this lead's getting blown right now. Uh, it's just very tough taking. Like, the past two drives, he scored on hurry up. It's not easy to keep up with. with the audibles that I have right now because we don't have custom playbooks and everything. So, 49-36 is the lead. We just got to keep the ball and run out clock. It's okay. We can do that. TJ Watt, insta pressure. It's going to be a two-minute warning. And honestly, he may be able to come back. Like, I, I can't get anything going. The insta pressure is actually kind of fucking weird, dude. Calvin's just breaking everybody. There's three guys there, and none of them want to keep up with him in man coverage. So, Bruce Turnham, Sheldon Rankin steps in. Sting, we get burnt. And that's another Calvin Austin touchdown. Derek! Sorry, Derek Stingley's just so bad right now in Madden with play rec being this low. Like, that was the most obvious out route I knew, and I thought he'd be able to hold it. He didn't. If he would have returned that, I would have actually lost my mind. GG's to AG, man. He put on a big competition. I mean, win or lose, I would still be saying the same thing, obviously. AG's my guy. But, man, having him score that much, PA crossers across the field just killed me. Um, the corners definitely need help. Derek Stingley may need to go. I've been talking about this all video. I could get some picks for him. Maybe upgrade my um, offensive line, obviously. That needs done. I can't run down the middle. Um, Insta sheds on Laramie Tunsil. Maybe he needs to go, too. Who knows? But at the end of the day, Larry, Kenny Pickett had the worst game of his season so far, and he played better yardage-wise than C.J. Stroud. So that's tough. I just couldn't get the ball going. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys can give me some tips and tricks on, in the comment section below. I'd like to know how to not blow a lead like we almost did. Um, you guys see that punt return at the end of the game? I, I don't understand how I'm getting so unlucky with this momentum change. So... Thank you guys again so much for watching. It's been your boy Riley from Just Riley Channel. I am out for the day. See you week five. Peace.